Hi, welcome back boys. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to change a master cylinder of a 77 Porsche 911. Now this should apply to the SE and the 3.0 Carrera, everything forward. Anything pre-77 is gonna have the master cylinder underneath the car. This one is in the frunk. I just got this car running and I wanted to drive it and I had no brake pedal. So I stuck my head under there and sure enough, there is brake fluid leaking inside the car, kind of inside the pedal area and in the frunk. And so I pulled the pedals, I rebuilt those. If you wanna see how to do that, click up here. Other than that, let's get into it. So I got a new master cylinder off Rock Auto. The official part from Porsche is like $600. The Euro rebuild one is $60. So yeah, we're gonna get this $60 one. I'll put a link down below to the one on Amazon, but you can get these cheap, you just need to shop around. Now there should be two brake switches on it. Um, there are, but both of them are bent, so we're gonna fix that in a little bit here. So I crawled under the car and disconnected the clutch cable right after I adjusted it. So here's the master cylinder of the booster. Apparently we need to remove this big bolt right here. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I'm following a tutorial and it said remove this, so this is what we're gonna do. I don't, I don't really see how this goes together yet or how what I'm doing here affects what's going on under there but let's just take it apart and maybe we'll figure it out. By the way, if you guys don't have one of these headlamps yet, highly suggest you pick one up. I don't really get paid if you buy one of these. I think I'd get like 10 cents or something because they're only like 15 bucks, but oh my God, this is a game changer for working on cars. It's just, it's not a spot, it's a flood. And then you have a spot if you need it. These things are awesome. I'm really annoyed that I didn't buy one of these a long time ago and they're rechargeable, killer. So let me show you what's going on in the car. All right, so this is driver's footwell of the car. It's real gross, man. There's a ton of brake fluid and just nasty stuff down here. I think I'm just gonna douse it in degreaser and start cleaning it. But what we need to disconnect is this brake rod right here to the master cylinder, because that is the master cylinder from the inside of the car. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and then disconnect that. All right, now we're gonna move to under hood. And basically you just need to start disconnecting things. I'm gonna take this hose off, take this reservoir hose off, and we're just gonna start unbolting anything that gets in our way. Now we're gonna to go to the right side and we're going to disconnect this clamp here to let go of this cable so that this stuff can go out of the way so we can remove this thing. We're also going to need to remove these plugs on the master cylinder itself. Now you have to disconnect the actual brake lines themselves. There's one there and one there. All right, that wasn't so bad. I just saved $600 by switching to Geik, I mean Volkswagen parts because uh, this was like 650 bucks if you were gonna buy the official Porsche part. But uh, yeah, the Volkswagen part was 60 bucks. So this looks pretty good. Ready to put it back in the car and we'll see how that goes.